Hey, what's up guys? Fast Fitness Tips is gonna quickly help you choose the best tire for you. Now there's endless websites describing the differences between clincher and tubular tires. Obviously I know you can get a clincher tubeless as well nowadays. Maybe that's the optimal tire. Just cut through the debate. Go for the <laughs> clincher tubeless if you can find the right wheel set. Uh, but on a, on a serious note, most people are actually debating between in road cycling between their clincher tire choice and their tubular tire. How do you make a choice between those two? First of all, is there a difference in uh, wear and tear? I don't think so. It's pretty much the same. Is there a difference between grip, grip on the road? People say there are differences, minor differences. To be honest, the grip on the road depends mostly on your tire pressure, a little bit on the tire compound. I don't go for there being a big difference between tubular and clinches on grip on the road. Is there a difference in cost? Yes, there is a difference in cost. Clinchers are generally cheaper, particularly at the low end of the market. So for beginners, they're often gonna go for the clincher tire, or to be honest, they're often gonna go for the tire that comes on the bike because that's the wheel set that is on the bike. And it's an expensive proposition to change from a clincher to tubular or from tubular to clincher. So most people are gonna stick if they've got one or two bikes to whatever comes with their bike. Now, there may be a case for changing if you're really into road cycling performance because there may be differences, for example, in aerodynamics. Aerodynamics is a complicated subject, but we've covered it thoroughly in a previous video. But the heads up here is that for a wider rim profile, often it's the clincher tire that will mate perfectly to that rim. Often it's hard to find a tubular tire which has a good aerodynamic profile for a wider toroidal rim. So that's, that's a heads up on aero. The other big factor is of course weight. There is a difference between clincher and tubulars. Clinchers are usually slightly heavier, even if you don't get one with a metal bead. For example, if you get one with a Kevlar bead, you know, the weight differential is not that, that different. In fact, when we're talking about weight differences, the weight difference between a clincher and a tubular is really not significant in terms of your cycling. It's actually the weight difference of the wheel that may come into it. The weight difference of the tubular ready or clincher ready wheel set are often significantly different. Although the manufacturers are trying to bring down the weight of those very latest carbon clincher wheel sets, there's often a two, three, four, or even 500 gram difference between the tubular ready and the clincher ready wheel set, which is one reason historically pros used to use tubular tires. There's another difference that is important, which is your familiarity or your readiness to make a repair, to change a tire. Obviously changing a tubular tire can be a pain. You know, you have to glue the tire on. You can of course use rim tape. Some people don't like it, but I'm saying it is available and there's some good quality rim tapes there now out there and they could be used in an emergency situation. So your, your ability, or should I say willingness to change, change a tire, you know, may influence whether you go to tubular or you go to clincher. All right, that, that's most factors considered, but I would say that the choice is pretty narrow there. The choice between clincher and tubular isn't that clear. You know, it's, you know, it's a very tricky decision, which is probably why some people come down on one side of the camp and some people come down on another. But we haven't touched on rolling resistance. And actually I have got an announcement today which is, do you remember that spreadsheet we put out about two or three months ago on, on the Tom Anhol database? We had 90 clincher tires in that database and Tom Anhol analyzed that beautifully. Well, here at Fast Fitness Tips today, we've now updated that with 222 tires, an amalgamation of three big databases, the Anhol database, the Al Morrison database, and that awesome database on bicyclerollingresistance.com. We've merged those all together. And in addition, we've added 50 tubular tires on there. So this, this big database now has been expanded. Why don't we have a quick look at it together? Okay, let, let's have a quick look at the spreadsheet together now. So let's have a quick look at this uh, Fast Fitness Tips revised version of the tire solver. If you remember previously we had the clincher version only with 90 tires. We've now significantly expanded this. If you have a look up here, it's 222 clinchers from a uh, pretty impressive 22 companies. So whereas you previously said, oh, where's my Michelin? Where's my Zip? Where's my Veloflex? They're, they're all in there now. Uh, also we have 53 tubular tires they're combined but there's a new question here 
do you want a clinch or a tubular? So basically, put your weight in. That enables you to calculate the CRR, the rolling resistance personalized to you. Put your tire preference size. And if you don't have a preference, you can type any. Let's put in well, our choice, clincher or tubular. Well, you can easily change. Just put in, you can put in C for clincher. Remember to press Enter, by the way, after you change your selection. Type in your preferred brand. You only need to type in the first two letters, like ZI for zip. By the way, Maxis is going to be MX. So type in MX. And then it tells you down here then the CRR. That's the actual tested CRR. The clever bit going on behind the scenes here is the databases are equalized. Basically, we've taken the CRR from the same tire across each database and made sure that they're approximately equal. And that normalizes the CRR for every other tire in the database because the exact conditions of the test from the Morrison test or the Anhalt test or, test or the bicycle rolling resistance test obviously vary a little bit and that does significantly alter the results one way or another. So we've done our best attempt to normalize this. So let's say you have got no preference, you just want to know the best tire, just type in any for preferred size, type in any for preferred brand and then type in C or T for tubular or clincher and there's your best tire. Then let's say you want to restrict that, one to 25. It will also tell you the exact measured width. That's very useful for mating the tire to the exact rim that you've got. So for most maximal aero efficiency, you want a tire width, which is pretty much exactly the same, perhaps even a tiny bit more than the rim width. And this is the way you will find that out by looking at the exact measured width, measured with calipers from the database. And then this tells you your exact watts to roll that along at your speed. You can put in your speed, your preferred speed. So let's say you're a 40 kph rider, you put in 40. Obviously, that increases the watts to roll along. And then you can further refine it by under advanced results. Look at here, not only the results for each road condition, but it will tell you the watts of losses compared to the fastest tire in the database. That happens to be the Vittorio Corsa Speed TLR 23C. So there you have it guys, the fast fitness tips, revised solver with 223 clinches, 53 tubulars. Uh, I think it's a great resource and, and as mentioned, you can download it in the link below. So that was the spreadsheet and just to let you know guys, it's the anniversary of fast fitness tips on YouTube. So we are providing that spreadsheet for you, our viewers who supported this channel for the last year, totally for free. No need to give a tweet, no need to put a link. It's going to be totally free for the rest of June. You can download it, share it with your friends as much as you like. Guys, take care, have a good ride. See you soon.